Hello everyone and let's solve another late code problem. This problem is number A. It's called string to uh, integer A T O I and it's of medium level. What is it about? It is about giving us a string S and we need to convert it to a 32-bit signed integer. Okay? There are some condition. If there are some white spaces at the beginning, we can remove it. If there's a sign at the beginning, we can determine if the number is negative or positive. And maybe there isn't a sign. If there is not a sign, that means it's positive. And we can skip any leading zero. Okay, if, if, no, if strings start like zero, zero, one, two, so the result will be only one, two. We can skip leading zero. What else it says? Uh, if there is no digit, then we return zero. If it's empty, we return zero. And rounding. Rounding, we have a range of the sign 32-bit integer, which is between negative 2 to power 31 and positive 2 to power 31 minus 1. If the result is out of this range, we round it to either negative 2 to power 31 or positive 2 to power 31 minus 1. So given here example, this is the string 42. The answer is 42. Here we have space negative 0 42. So we will remove the space. We will read the negative sign as negative number and 0 leading 0 we will remove it then 42. So it will be negative 42. Here let me take this one and write it here. What we have 1 3 3 7 C 0 D 3. And there's condition here. It says when we reach a character our operation end so how we will solve this simply we can solve it by first define a result equals zero and then, then read character by character transform it to integer and we add it to our result okay so result zero then we will say result equal same result multiplied by 10 then we add a new car new integer new character new integer for the character okay for example here one it will be transferred to integer and zero multiplied by 10 is zero so the answer will be one why we multiply result by 10 before we add a new integer so when we add another number like three we can shift one to the left so for example next one is three it will be 1 multiplied by 10 is 10 plus 3, it will be 13. Add another one is 3, it will be 13 multiplied by 10, 130 plus 3 is 133. And then 7, and then it will come C. When it comes C, we, we get out of the operation and this end, there we return 1337. Okay, I hope the explanation is clear for you. Let's start coding. So, first, as I said, we define the result equals zero, which is zero, and we have our input is S. We need to remove any spaces, so we can use strip operation. It will remove all spaces. And if S, if not S, so if the input is empty, nothing in the input, we can simply return zero. This is edge cases. We start with the sign equal one which is positive now we consider the sign is positive as initial value so here we say if s for zero the first character equal the string negative or s index zero equal the string positive which is special cases and when we read negative or positive we have to remove it from our string but first we need to check is it negative or not? If it's negative, then simply we say sign equal minus one. And in either case, negative or positive, if there's a sign, we need to remove it. Simply we reassign string as starting from index one to the end. Now we do our loop for character in our string new as, if character dot is decimal, is it decimal? because it could be a letter. If it's letter, we don't want it. We want a decimal. If it's a decimal, then 
we will do result equal result multiplied by 10 plus integer for the character we convert character into integer if it's not decimal it's mean it's a character that cannot convert into integer simply we break out of the loop okay after we break from the loop now the sign could be negative one we started as initial value is one but it could be negative one so simply we can say result multiplied by sign so if it's negative it will be negative result and if it's one it will be the same as result so if result is bigger than 2 to power 31 minus 1 that means it's out of the positive range we simply return 2 to power 31 minus 1 else if result smaller than minus 2 to power 31 so it's out of range from negative side we simply return uh, minus 2 to power 31 else the it's if within the range we simply return the result so let's test it here here is working fine but I need, need to test it in the lead code so let's try and test it in the lead code so I paste the code here and let's click submit and it's working perfectly well the time complexity is very good and the memory complexity is very good thank you for watching please don't forget to leave a comment and good day